Hello everyone. Sorry, you're back again. Another survival build. Now the idea behind this build is um I was watching a video by IBX Toycat and where he nominated the top five most useless blocks. Now I didn't I disagree with him on it. Now he's a good YouTuber and I like him, I'm not trying to put him down, but I didn't really agree with his idea. So basically what his idea was I basically did was give me an idea. Sometimes you need a bit of inspiration to build stuff, or get a new idea or something to build. Now one of them was a gravel block, or I should say, yeah, the gravel block house. I built one of them, it looks quite decent. Now my world is full of novelty builds. I always try to do something different. I try to not stick to a theme of medieval castles or stuff like that. I, I try to build novelty stuff all the time, try and use different blocks in different ways. Now this is where I came up with. Netheraki was nominated as in the top five of most useless blocks, which I dis disagree, all blocks have their use. So we're going to have a quick look at this building I've done. Here's another novelty building I have over there, house basically based on vines. Now I do quite a lot of this. Again, a lot of time put into this. <coughs> now this is where I've used netherrack. Now we said netherrack was an ugly block. I believe every block has its purpose, and Minecraft is about imagination. Now he is right, it is kind of a a darker shot of block, and it's something hard to work with, but again, you have to use your imagination in Minecraft. This is what the challenge is in the game, like, it's that's how people make ch imaginary chairs and tables and all that, by using your imagination. And I use my imagination here to come up with this. Now, it's clean, it's fun, I tend to like, I like to build fun buildings, I don't like, again, it doesn't have to be a medieval castle, it doesn't have to be an exact replica of a Tudor house. Buildings have to, can be fun. Now, I think this looks nice, it's clean. Again, it's very colourful. The netherrack to me looks quite well there with the snow blocks. Snow block is possibly the best block in the game. Now as far as it brightens things up and there's an awful lot of dark blocks and you need bright blocks beside them. The water, you cannot go wrong with water. Water always looks good. Now this is a fun building. The design is actually fairly simple. I try not to build complicated designs. I try to keep things simple. Because I'm in survival mode, I don't want to get go too far and too big because I want to see a product at the end of the day I don't want to be on days and days and days doing something now with this there's probably about 10 hours put into this but uh, yeah I like to see something at the end of the day I'm, not in, I'm in survival mode so I also have to be realistic to the materials I have and what I can build with I don't spend my constant time farming and mining I want to be building something and creating something again the netherrack looks quite well it's, it's a nice little pattern design very simple, works. Now again, on the inside of the building, it's it's fairly simple interior design. It's a house. Now, sadly, when you look at all of this, and you go to the inside of the house, it is actually quite small. Basically, it's a Minecraft purpose house. It has all the bits you need to, to do what you have to do in Minecraft. I think the netherrack looks quite well there and around there. It looks nice. Again, there are, to me, there are no useless blocks. The other block was mentioned was the sponge block, which you don't get sponge in survival mode. But if I did, I'm sure I could come up with some idea for it. Um, chisel block, I don't have a, I think it's a, is it a jungle temple they come in? I'm not too sure. But I haven't got a jungle temple, and if I had chiseled that chisel stone in a jungle temple, I'd leave it where it was, because that's, it belongs there, because it's also part of your world, as in NPC villages are. As I'd never strip an NPC village. Again, this, it works, it's nice and it's clean. And basically, basically what I did was I kind of did use IBX Toycat's comments to give me inspiration. And basically, that's what that is there. And just to say, well, no, it looks good. You're on. Again, I do like and I am subscribed and I do like his videos and they do get shared on tw my Twitter account. But when I disagree with somebody, well, I have to say I do disagree. They're no useless blocks. You just have to figure out a way how to use them. Now, I'm just going to, before I finish this video, I'll... I tend to make a few commentary mistakes by calling certain things wrong things, but I think basically most people do know what I mean, and anyway, I'm not the best commentator in the world, and I really am not the best commentator in the world. I do call things the wrong things, and but most of these women know what I mean. It's no block, possibly the best block in the game. It's the brightest, it has a nice shine to it, as opposed to, we'll say, the quartz block, which a lot of people seem to like this. A lot easier to get this than this. This is a much brighter block, it's a lot cleaner, this is kind of a dirty white. And then the other white block people use is uh, this. Which, 
I'm not a lover of wall. It has its purpose in buildings for making carpet and all that inside buildings. But yeah, it kind of has a kind of a rough look to it, as opposed to this, which is extremely clean. As this is dirty out. This is a great block. And I've built loads of stuff and used it in different ideas. Another awkward block to build with is very dark block, and you near enough have to have a bright block beside it to make it work because it's just very, very dark. Now, the one thing he was right, it's not an easy block to work with. It's an odd colour, it, it looks weird and all that, so at that point, he is right. But yeah, if you p use your imagination, you can build something fun. So I think, on that note, best look music, and take care.